subscribe the channel Sam's Vlog and press the bell icon to be the first one to watch the latest videos. Friends, if you are the taxpayers, then you must pay attention to this video till the end. Because from 1st April 2017, Income Tax Department is going to implement 10 new changes in their rules. So before start planning your taxes for the new financial year, you must know these 10 new changes to make a better plan. So in this video, I am going to tell you all the new changes one by one. Welcome friends, I am Sam, you are watching Sam's Vlog, let's get started. It's always better to start planning your taxes in advance. Before start doing this, please go through these changes. First one is, the tax rate for the income limit of 2.5 to 5 lakhs per annum is being decreased from 10% to 5%. That means, now you can save taxes up to Rs 12,500. Number 2 is, now onwards you can get tax rebate of Rs 2,500 for the income of Rs 3.5 lakhs per year. That means, income up to Rs 3 lakhs per year is tax free. Third one is, in the next financial year, you have to pay 10% surcharge for the income of Rs 50 lakhs to 1 crore. Number 4 is, in case of immovable property, the long term period has been decreased from 3 years to 2 years. Because of that, if you sell your property in between 2 years of purchase date, the tax rate will be decreased to 20%. The fifth one is, the base year for evaluating the effect of inflation on property valuation will be changed from 1st April 1981 to 1st April 2001. Then comes the sixth one, that is, in case of the reinvestment of the capital gains of different notified bonds along with NHAI and REC bonds, there will be a tax exemption. Number seven is, for the income up to Rs 5 lakhs per year, you have to only fill up a single page of simple tax return form. The eighth one is, if you do not submit your income tax for the next financial year in between 31st December 2018, then you will be penalized with 5000 rupees. After that, the penalty amount will be increased to 10,000 rupees. Number nine is, the Rajiv Gandhi equity saving scheme, which is for tax exemption for investing on the listed shares and funds will be removed from 1st April 2017. Number 10 or the last one is, the time limit for making any sort of change in tax return has been decreased from 2 years to 1 year. So friends, these are the 10 changes going to be implemented by the income tax department from 1st April 2017. So before calculating how to save the taxes for the next financial year, these are the things to keep in the mind. So friends, if you think that this video has become informative for you, please give it a thumbs up and share this video so that everyone can get this valuable information for the next financial year. And if you have any questions or suggestions for me, please post it in the comment box below. And the most important thing, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. I will bring more awesome and informative videos for you in the coming days. To subscribe my channel, please hit this circle. This is totally free. And do not forget to watch these two videos too. So that's all friends in this video. Take care. Goodbye.